Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try Santa Lucia on the ukulele. Alright, I'm going to play an E chord to a B7, B7, back to E. E to B7, B7, back to E. E to E, a B7, B7, back to E. One more time, E. To B7, B7, back to an E chord. Stay on the E, and then F sharp minor 7, and then again, and then back to E. E to B7, B7, back to an E. E to F sharp minor 7, F sharp minor 7, back to E. E to B7, and then B7, to E. So that's uh, that's the key most people play it in. Um, it's a little harder on the ook because of the B7 chord and I actually don't dig the E chord too much either. So, um, but that's that's the tune. You could do it that way. Uh, let's see, what can I tell you about it? So we need to know the chords. E chord, first string, second fret, fourth, third, and second string all in the fourth fret. That's your E major chord. Or e. Okay, your next chord is a B7. You're going to bar the second fret, third string, uh, uh, third string, third fret. <laughs> Sorry. And then back to the E. The next chord you're going to need is only one more chord in the song, F sharp minor. Uh, let's see, where is it? Fourth string, second fret, second string, second fret, and third string, first fret. Okay, just like that. And technically, it's an F sharp minor. There's no minor. There's no seventh in it. Sorry. So F sharp minor. I'm used to playing minor sevenths on the guitar for that for that one moment. Anyway, um, what else can I tell you? It's got two different sections to it, and it's uh, it's in three eight time. So you can think of it like three beats and a measure. Um, it it does the E chord for like one pattern, and then a B seven for two patterns, and then back to the E for one. And then that repeats four times in a row. So it's like, you know, uh, duh, where's my note? Da, da, so E to B7, B7, back to E. So that's, that's it, and then you repeat that four times, just like that. Then the next section is in E to an F sharp minor, F sharp minor, back to E, E to B7, and then B7, back to E, and then that big pattern repeats twice, okay? So that's E, F sharp minor for two, E, and then E again, and then B7 for two, and then E for one. And uh, I just, I think of it where the repeats are, you know, that, so I break it up that way. I don't think E for one, B7 for two, E for two, and then B7 for two. You know, I, I can't think that way. I have to think where are those repeats, and that's how I do it. Um, a lot of people argue that. I don't, whatever, that's the way I do it. Uh, now, if you'd like some other chords, okay, uh, you could do it in a different key where you have friendlier chords. You could do it in the key of D. So it's da da di da da da. So D to an A7, A7, back to D. D to A7, A7, back to D. D to A7, A7, back to D. I think it's one more to D to A7, A7, back to D. Next section, D. Minor seven, E minor seven, back to D, D to an A seven, A seven to a D. Repeat D to F sharp. Uh, sorry, E minor seven, E minor seven, back to D, D to A seven, and then Santa, and then that's an A seven to a D. Okay, so that would be a much easier key, at least for me, to play it in. No bar chords, nice and easy. So a D chord would be 4th, 3rd, and 2nd string at the 2nd fret. 
and A7 would be the third string first fret only. And then the E minor 7, and this time there is a 7th in there. So we can call it an E minor 7. It's 3rd string 2nd fret, 1st string 2nd fret. Just like that. Those are the three chords for that key. Uh, if you want to go the other side, like I went underneath the E, I went to D. What if you went a little higher, um, you'd be in the key of F. So where's my note? Uh, that's not it. That's it. Da, da, dee, da, da, da. So how about an F chord to a C7, C7 back to F, F to C7, C7 back to F, F to C7, C7 back to an F, F to C7, C7 back to F. Next section, F to a G minor 7. G minor 7 back to F, F to a C7, C7 back to F, repeat F to D, uh, G minor 7, G minor 7 back to F, F da 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 da, C7, Santa, and then end on an F chord. So, how did I do that? So in that key, what I did was, um, I took the, so the, 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 the key that I know it is key of E, right? So E is your one chord. B7 is my five chord, or my five seven chord in that key. And then the F sharp minor seven is the two chord in the key of E. So I simply did, all right, now F is my one chord, so I just gotta count up F, G, A, it's B flat. Uh, and then C7 is my five chord in the key of F. It all, everything just changes. So F and then C7 is my next chord. And the only other chord I have to worry about is the two minor chord. So in the key of F, I got my F is one, G minor seven is my two minor seven chord. So that's how I did that. Because in the key of E, F sharp minor seven is the two chord. Uh, how I did it in the key of D, D is now my one chord. D, E, F sharp, G, A. A7 is my five chord. So that's why I went to an A7. A7 back to D. And then that next section, I needed the two minor seven chord. So in the key of D, it's D, E minor seven is my next uh, chord. So, or my two minor seven. So uh, that's how I transpose. Um, I don't do it by uh, ear. I, <laughs> I mean, you do, because you know when you're wrong, that's for sure. But uh, unfortunately, uh, the performing arts are uh, the audience and you usually find out at the same time that you're wrong. So, you have to have a way of figuring it out. And so I do the math. Um, that's how I do it. Uh, in my head as quick as I can. And uh, there you go. So that's Santa Lucia. I, hopefully uh, that is not too confusing. Uh, I picked a, like an easy song to try and do some transposing. Um, I'll have a link. You can look at my work. for It's, uh, it's guitar and ook on the same page, so don't get confused. You just have to look for your charts. Uh, please subscribe, play more ook, and uh, thanks for watching.